All right, Wayne Alaroo with uh, great Bill O'Reilly, number one for 16 straight years in cable news, and now number one at the New York Times bestseller list with Killing the SS. Bill O'Reilly, that's the second week in a row. Your book's been out second week in a row. You've been number one New York Times. Am I correct? Yep, uh, we're doing real well with Killing the SS, Wayne. Thanks a lot for talking about it. All right, uh, it's a great book, and it deserves a lot of great mention. Uh, President Trump says he intends to sign an executive order to remove the right to birthright citizenship, meaning uh, babies of non-citizens and unauthorized immigrants born on U.S. soil will no longer be U.S. citizens. Does he have a right to do that? Does he have the authority to do it through executive order? What say you? All right. Our analysis on BillOReilly.com is that there's no question uh, the anchor baby controversy is generated by a loophole in the 14th Amendment. There's no question about that. Um, that the 14th Amendment was designed to protect slaves who were freed by the Civil War and uh, were not state-run people. They didn't have papers. They didn't have any of that. So that amendment said, if you are born on this soil or naturalized, i.e., you were brought over here from Africa and you're slaves for 10 years, then you're citizens. So no one envisioned that illegal immigration would then use the 14th Amendment to come to the United States, illegal aliens, and then give birth. That Nobody imagined that. So you can make a legal argument that they've taken an amendment, which was ratified by two-thirds of the states, that's what all amendments have to be, and they've um, used it in a way that wasn't intended. That's an argument. It's a fairly strong argument. But what I said was it will not prevail because I don't believe the Supreme Court, where it will wind up, will enhance the president's power by giving an executive order the authority to wipe out an amendment. That the Supreme Court will say, and I think it'll be six to three, you have to go through Congress, amend the law, the immigration law, then place it in the amendment and get ratified by two-thirds. That's our system, and we got to hold our system. Because if you don't, you give authority to a president to wipe out an amendment, even if it's misused, with the stroke of a pen. And the next amendment, you know, Wayne, what will be wiped out? The Second Amendment. Because a president, a liberal president, if elected, will get in and say, this militia business, this isn't what the intent is, uh, to allow people to uh, possess guns. Not the intent. It was only the militia. So I'm wiping it out with an executive order. So I'm telling people to be very careful about this. And I think in the long run, the president will lose in the Supreme Court if it goes there. And sadly, um, I agree with you. <laughs> sadly, because I'd like to see it overturned. But I agree with you that you can't take a chance that the president could do that with any amendment to the uh, United it, States It enhances but... their power. Judges aren't going to give the president right. of the United States any more power. So that's why, it, but the spirit of the amendment is certainly violated by the anchor baby's concept. And, um, Correct. but Congress has got to, you know, it's got to get involved now. But see, my opinion is Trump made a brilliant move, Bill, because he knows all this. He knows he'll probably lose, although it's probably a, you know, a coin to us what will happen in the Supreme Court, but he knows a good chance he'll lose. But he did it right before the election. So I want to ask yeah. you, do you think this will help conservatives win the midterms? I think it's a positive to motivate conservative voters. I would not have done it because he's got enough ammo with the uh, migrant caravan. So I don't think I would have put myself in a position of raising a, an issue that people will be confused about. See, I think that five days before the election, um, or six days, uh, it's Halloween, six days before the election, people don't need to be confused. They don't need another issue injected. Um, just keep hammering the old issues, border security, good economy. That's what I would have done had I been Mr. Trump. What, what's really amazing, I wanted to ask you about Harry Reid's comments, because I know in 1993, and I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and Harry Reid is my neighbor a block away from my home. Right now, he's a block away from where I stand. Go trick or treating moment. tonight, Wayne. Uh, Go know, to his house, trick or treating. <laughs> see what he gives you. Not a good, 
Not a good idea. <laughs> I don't want to eat poison. But having said that, Bill O'Reilly, uh, Harry Reid said 1993, it's insanity to allow birthright citizenship. How have Democrats changed this much since 1993? And now Reid says he made a mistake. Uh, that's a pretty fundamental mistake, mm. Harry. You got to explain that now. Um, the progressive left, uh, backed by the media and big money, uh, has intimidated moderate Democrats. There's no doubt about it. The progressive uh, left controls the agenda of the Democratic Party. We saw that in the Kavanaugh hearings. And uh, that's a big issue for Americans. If you're a Democrat, a moderate Democrat, you want these loons in charge, and I call them loons because when you say there's no such thing as due process, presumption of innocence, we want open borders, when you say all that, and that's what the progressive left is saying, that's lunatic stuff to me. And I'm not an ideologue. I'm just a regular American who wants the best for his country. So that's a campaign issue. Do you want these people in charge? I mean, if I were President Trump, that's my commercial. You want them? Vote Democrat, because they're controlling a party. Great theme. Great theme, Bill. And I hope it is in commercials. I hope it is on everybody's mind. I hope they do know that CNN's Don Lemon said white men are this nation's biggest terror threat. Insanity. Insanity reigns on the left. Bill O'Reilly, number one, 16 straight years, cable TV news, and now number one with Killing the SS on the New York Times bestseller list. Congratulations, Bill. See you in a few days. Okay, Wayne. Thank you.